and then he'll, he'll wait for me to tell him to hit the ball. Okay, just turning. Now I'm going to tell him when he lands his right foot to hit the ball and hit, 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 hit. Good. Now you noticed as he started to hit the ball around with his right side, you could see the ball pulse. Okay? In the hammer throw, the ball turns you. We, we talked about biomechanics. The, the only way to throw the hammer farther is to have a faster hammer head and the, the proper angle of release. So speed of the ball is everything. We know that radius equals speed. So the length of the arms and keeping the ball long is what's important to turning fast. So that pushing system, that right side in the hammer is very, very important. Um, I had my first chance to work with the national hammer coach back in 1981. I went to a clinic at Cornell University, thought I was going to learn everything there was about the Russian technique in the hammer. And for three days, all he had us do was, was pushing with a broom and with medicine balls and cones and hammers. And we were only allowed to use our right side. I left a three-day clinic never getting to make a full throw, thinking that that was a waste of money. My first practice back, I PR'd by 10 feet, personal record. So the right side, I found at an early age, is very, very valuable in learning the hammer throw. Now, you do have to have both hands on the hammer, so there is a left side to the hammer. The left side of the hammer, if the right side is the push or the drive, okay, this is, this is the gas or the accelerator, the left side, although passive, is kind of like the steering wheel, okay? Since we are turning to the left side as a right-handed thrower, the left hand decides where that the system's gonna go. So when we talk about the left hand, you're gonna hear me coaching a lot about the push and the sling, okay? The sling is a passive movement, but it's where you put the hammer. So what we're gonna have them do is come in and do a left-handed drill, and now they're gonna walk with just the left-handed drill, and as they come in, you're gonna see them work the ball, not in the same aggressive pushing fashion as the right side, but more of a slinging motion. So Jay, come on in there. Again, we start most of these drills off the, off the walk around, okay? Now, when we, when we start actually throwing, we're gonna do more of the winding, okay? Come on up a little bit so you give yourself a little room. Now, he's just gonna walk around, again, get it started. He's gonna relax the left side. What I found to help relax the left side is for him to put his thumb up, okay? And then he's just gonna step in, and he's gonna to start to turn. Now, what I'm trying to get him to do is keep the ball long on the left side. Long on the left side, the right side is still going forward. Good. Now, there's two ways we can do that drill. We can do it the way Jake just did it, where as he's turning with his left side, he just keeps his right hand beside the ball. What I prefer to do with the beginners is I make, make them actually tuck their thumb right inside their sweatpants, and that's what we're gonna do here with John. And what that'll do is that'll totally relax the right side and make the left side work on its own. So we're gonna bring John in. Although a 230 foot hammer thrower, a lot of technique work still needs to be done, so we're gonna, we're gonna teach him the same way that I would teach a beginner who has never thrown the hammer, okay? So he's got his left thumb tucked right inside his shorts there. He's just gonna turn. And he's going to step forward, and he's going to let that ball run to 180, long to the left side, long, good. Nice and passive, okay? Now, as you can see, that's not the speed of the throw, but what it is, is it's the relaxation that's taken to throw far. We're going to talk later about what's important in the weight room, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that that we are not strong athletes. We've worked very hard in the weight room um, to, to get our squat levels well over 600 pounds, but we weren't always that strong, and you don't need to be that strong if you learn at an early age to, to throw with relaxation. Uh, power and strength is, is, is a beautiful thing once you learn the technique, but if you're, if you're so strong in the beginning and you can never get your point yourself to relax those arms and to feel that, that stretch in the hammer, um, it's, the hammer is more like uh, ballet more than any of the other events. Um, the shot put is, is more of an aggressive movement. The, the discus is more of a speed movement. The hammer needs to be long, it needs to be passive, and then it needs to be dynamic and explosive. 